Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's video I will show you how to create a simple login and sign up for your app using Firebase Auth, and also save your user data with Cloud Firestore. Before we begin, make sure your app is already connected with Firebase, if not, watch my previous video on how to add Firebase to your app. Let's start. First, create a simple login and sign up screen. I'm gonna speed up the most of the video to not waste your time. I'll upload the source code on the link in the description of this video. I realize that I should explain my code for some of you that are new to this, but the video will be too long and boring for some people. So, please leave your questions on the comments section of this video, and I will answer all of them. Now, we need to create functions to sign in and sign up the user. Create new class for it. Initialize Firebase off. Newer Firebase off version probably have released at the time you watch this video. For this video I'll use Firebase off 0.20.0 version 1. and then create two functions, sign in with email and password and create user with email and password. Now, let's test the functions. Let's test the app now. As you can see when the email and password field is still empty as the user tap login or sign up button, error will be shown. I'll use provider to log in or sign up the user. Pass the email and password to the function. Next, I'll create an autologen. If user is not null, the app will start with home screen. If user is null, the app will start with main screen which is the login and sign up screen. For this case I'll be using provider. Go to your main dart.
Oops I think I forgot some lines. by signing up the user. Perfect. Now the user is not null so the app start with home screen. Now let's save the user's data to Cloud Firestore. Go to Firebase Cloud Firestore and create database. Let's just start with test mode for developing the app. Remember, you need to change rules from test mode to more secure rules when you are going to publish your app in the store, I'll make a video on Firestore rules later, so stay tuned. After creating database, you need to add Cloud Firestore to your pubspec.yaml. Next thing is creating function to save users data to Cloud Firestore. I need to sign out the current user first. If you got an error like this after adding things in your pubspec.yaml, you need to restart your app, stop and restart not just hot restart. In my case, I also need to set multi-dex enabled to true in my build griddle. Now the app should work. Let's check Cloud Firestore for the user's data. There it is, Cloud Firestore has saved the user's data. I don't recommend saving user's password, in this case, I'm saving it just to show it to you guys. In here, you can also see user's email that has auth to your app.
That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You can check out the source code in the description of this video. I hope you guys learned something new today. See you in the next video. Bye bye.